Cinco de Mayo is the only holiday where I, as a fat, can sink an entire jar of mayo without you judging me. Here's what I ate today. For breakfast, of course, I started with the mayo. It was so thick, so creamy. I even snacked on it a little throughout the- You know, like, as a joke, eating mayonnaise is kind of a little funny. I mean, it's still not very funny. Like, if it was like a gag, you know, like you put it in your mouth and like spit it out instantly. But the fact that she's going in on it and she's actually body slamming the tub of mayonnaise, like she's boogie too. 988. If you guys have never seen that iconic Boogie 2988 clip of him literally digesting an entire tub of mayonnaise, actually, actually digesting the tub of mayonnaise, maybe you're seeing it on your screen right now, but it's actually incredible. I've never seen a grown man, or actually, I've never seen anyone in the entire existence of humanity eat an entire tub of mayonnaise. Not even actually good quality mayonnaise, too, like the greater value brand, literally Walmart version of mayonnaise. But I mean, what are you going to do, right? But I know that she's saying this as like a gag, the Cinco de Mayo or whatever, but still, like actually sitting there body slamming a tub of mayonnaise is insane. I mean, look at the mouth. The day, I loved it. For lunch, you already know, I had mayo. I shared it with my partner. They're also a fan. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Love is love. I'm sure these people are very compatible. I'm sure that they love each other greatly and they're beautiful together. I'm sure they have a very cohesive relationship. He loves her, she loves him. All I, sometimes I think that when you're in a relationship, it's like really in your best interest to try to like push another person. I know that I'm really tough to be in a relationship when it comes to like the way I dress because I dress really terribly. But in this scenario, right, ah, uh, there might be some things. There might be some things that you could probably do to increase or like try to make your partner more delicate or more delicacy wise. And I got to let you know right now, eating mayonnaise is not one of them. Um... It's just not. Uh, I, but you know what, man? I'm happy for these people. I'm really happy. Like, they look like very compatible together. And of Cinco de Mayo. Damn, he actually body slammed that shit. I'm actually, he actually full, like, I thought maybe she was, like, spitting it out. I think they're actually body slamming a jar of mayonnaise for the day. By the way, uh, mayonnaise is, like, one of the most high-calorie foods out there. In terms of condiments, that, it's stacked. It's literally just fat. Like, fat stacked on fat. And... I like mayonnaise. I like putting mayonnaise on like bread sometimes when I'm eating sandwiches because it makes it a little bit more lubricated and it gives it a little bit more of that texture to it and it's all right. And by the way, when you go to like Mickey D's and you get that Big Macs and you think the Big Mac sauce tastes good, mayonnaise, just salted mayonnaise. That's all it is. Or you're like, you go to Raising Cane's and you know that little, like, little tub of like condiment sauce they give you? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, just mayonnaise, salty mayonnaise too, maybe a little ketchup in there. Most most sauces that you're getting, like in-house sauces, mayonnaise. Um, but it should not be an excuse to body slam potentially thousands of calories worth of literal nothing. No, I had mayo. I shared it with my partner. They're also a fan. He, he actually ate it. Like he put it in his mouth and like swallowed that shit down. What, what a beautiful couple, man. Of Cinco de Mayo. That wasn't enough for me. So I took my mayo to Burger King. I tucked her in safely. Right, let's get out I got a large fry, which is 400 and Ooh, Damn, bro. Large fries into mayonnaise is crazy, dude. Fought that. So 500 calories for the Lord. 40 calories, and I dipped it of mayo, of course, and Damn. it was honestly. Yeah, that thing is literally licked clean, dude. Look how far I got in that thing. There's literally, li literally just remnants left inside that mayonnaise jar. I think this is the best thing that. I don't know why she eats like that. Like, I can't even, I can't even replicate the way that she eats. Like, her mouth is just wide open. Yeah. That I've consumed all year. Absolutely marvelous. Damn. I got Damn, that's a big ass chicken sandwich. What is that? Uh, maybe that's just like the spicy chicken sandwich they got, not the McChicken. The McChickens are significantly smaller. And I don't think that these are the McSpicies or whatever they call these things. I don't think they're worth it, to be honest. Like, they're just bigger McChickens, slightly bigger McChickens. And you're paying like triple, which I don't think is worth it. This could just be me. Because, like, here's the thing. I grew up in an era where McChickens were a dollar. And you know what, dude? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to top it up a little bit. I remember literally going to Burger King and, you know, flirting with the attendant behind the counter so I can get cheese on my burger. Because at the time, if you went to Burger King, right, this had to have been mm, 2013, 20, 2014, 2011, maybe around that time period. You could go into BK and you can get a double burger for $1. And I used to go in there with a 20 and I would get 20 double burgers, right? And I'd be flirting. Keep in mind, in 2011, I was probably, I don't know how old I was, dude. Probably like 15, 16, maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe, I don't know, like 14, something like that around there. 
I would be trying to flirt with the old Grandma Ursa looking bitch behind the counter so I can try to get that extra piece of cheese on the burger because it really made the difference. So I'd go up there and I'd be like, yeah, can I get, um, can I go ahead and get 20 uh, double burgers? And the lady behind the counter like, what'd you just say? And I'd be like, can I get 20? And she'd be like, 20? And I'd be like, yeah, let me get 20. And I would walk out with three bags of burgers, dude. I would have a few on the way, but sometimes... Because, you know, I'd finesse her. I would say that she had nice eyebrows. They were painted on, by the way. She didn't actually have eyebrows. They were, uh, like, skin-colored, right? They were uh, really, really shiny. It was, like, forehead, basically. And she put her eyebrows, like, a few inches above where they should be. So she had that Ariana Grande, like, upper eyelid gap, you know? And um, she didn't really have a lot of hair either. But it was okay because I could flirt with you just to get an extra piece of cheese. I know it's not real cheese on the burger. I get it. But still... It's extra calories on top of the burger. Like, what do you want from me? I'm, I'm, I'm literally spending $20 at Burger King. Obviously, I'm not thinking highly of myself. But the point I'm making is, if I'm coming from an era where I'm spending $20 on 20 double cheeseburgers, dude, and you want me to spend $6 on a McChicken, a glorified McChicken, fuck you. I'm not doing that shit. That's crazy, dude. I'm not, no. The McChickens are barely worth the dollar. The fact that you think that I'm spending double, triple, quadruple on a, 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 a little bit thicker version of a McChicken, suck me. Suck me. Not doing it. It's not worth it. Absolutely not worth it, dude. Got this chicken sandwich for 900 calories, it like and it was I, but it needed mayo. Damn, dude. 900 calories, but you just probably added in an extra 100, maybe even 200 with that. Damn, the way that shit dripped out, bro. You could tell that shit's been out in the sun all day. It literally dripped out like thick water. I got this chicken sandwich Watch the for drip. 900 calories. That is just atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. A tablespoon is 100 calories. And there's got to be at least two or three tablespoons right here on top of this. Calories, and it was Look at that shit, bro. Oh, she's shaking her head like, yeah, that's that good shit. That mayonnaise, right? And I know this is like a joke. Like, this is a joke video. But this is not a joking matter. You got diabetes. This is gross. You're literally dripping mayonnaise on top of a chicken. A chicken sandwich. I, but it needed mayo, obviously. I got a triple cheeseburger. Oh, damn, bro. Fucking crazy, bro. A triple cheese and you got a chicken and you got the large fry? How much is a triple cheeseburger? And I added just a little bit of mayo. I value my health, so I washed it all down. That's just big as fuck, dude. Damn. With a Diet Coke. Look Prove at it. my food. This was the best sink. You, you didn't even tell us how many calories that triple cheeseburger was, dude. And you're over here trying to count calories. By the way, the triple cheeseburger probably around 500 calories. Don't, don't fuck with me. It's around that, okay? And mayonnaise, dude, on top of that, dude, wash your hair. Wash your hair. Grease. 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 Damn, dude. Why is it so greasy, bro? Day mayo. I hope you all have a great one. My entire calories for the day was 2,300, so yeah. 2,300 calories? Probably not true, if I'm being honest with you. It's probably way, way more than that. But hey, you know what? If, if she counted 2,300, I'll go with that, bro. It's probably not, but, you know. So I'm still slowly losing weight in a slow calorie deficit. Look at me. I'm skinny. <laughs> what I eat in a day is a fat person who eats 10,000 uh, calories a day and does not want to lose weight. I don't think she's actually... If she's eating 10,000 calories a day, that's kind of crazy. Dude, what is this like? Oh, my God. Look at me. I'm so hot. And by the way, dude, I want to point out when I do it, look how much look how much gap I have, right? Look, look at the triangle that I can make. But when she does it, me, I'm look skinny. at the, this. Ready for it? Yeah, look at that, dude. Look at the this. And mine's is like this, dude. Check me out. I'm triangle boyed. Blueberry cereal. Somebody let me know how many calories this is. Oh, man. I know that shit's going to be crazy calories, dude. Ah, uh, the sugar cereal. That shit is that shit is kind of high. That's just kind of high in calorie. I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even be surprised. It's six seven hundred calories right here. Milk too. Let me find out. There's milk in that. Yeah. Damn, dude. This scrumptious. That's not a word. You just you just put you just you put your you put your keyboard on weird characters and then you put that peanut butter and some other thing. Eight chicken nuggets okay why do you have it in a glass bowl people think they're so cool rambit random texas toast texas roadhouse roll with the butter of course where'd you get the butter like this run one reese's pumpkin not bad she's got the uh crystal light too by the way that's so we'll we'll give her that i think she's probably drinking water in a day which is all right that's good. 
and Skittles, candy, Starburst, uh, Swedish Fish, which, uh, in my opinion, Swedish Fish are really gross. I don't like them at all, but it's all right. Look, it's okay to eat candy. I'm not going to hate on people for eating candy. I just hope that when you do eat candy, it's, like, not that much, and you're not substituting it with meals, because I see a lot of people, when they do eat candy or snacks, they'll eat that as, like, a meal, and then they'll also have another meal right next to that. So if you're doing that, make sure that you're eating limited amounts of candy because that shit is really calorie dense and you're getting nothing out of it too. Like there's nothing in terms of value and nutritionally speaking, it's just carbs, which maybe if you're looking for carbs or if you're in a zombie apocalypse, listen, none of this advice applies to you if you're in a zombie apocalypse. If you're going through, searching through like hotels or supermarkets and you're looking for food and you come across Skittles, Starburst, and Swedish, Swedish fish, Oh, go ahead. Body slam as much as you can because you're probably not going to be able to find food for a long period of time. And it's really incentivized to get as many calories in as possible. And also, watch out behind you. There's a zombie. So if that's your, if that's where you are, then it's I. But by, if you're not, uh, then probably not. Then probably don't eat that much or like limit it a little bit. This is a song that I wrote. What I eat in a day as a fat person slowly starting, slowly wait slowly weight day what oh my bad fat slowly losing weight about being fat at a chinese buffet i i i, I a buffet is kind of crazy i think personally if you have a problem with consuming food you should probably not go to buffets because buffets are like very expensive like how much are you spending to go in a buffet usually it's like 50 bucks like 40 to 50 bucks per person and if you're going with you and your boyfriend you know uh that beautiful specimen of man that means that you're probably spending $100. And if you're spending $100 on food, what are you going to do? You're going to be eating a lot to make up for that $100 you just threw at those Chinese guys. So don't get me wrong. If you're spending $100, I do expect you to body slam a lot of food. I will be literally having these dudes questioning whether or not $50 is even sufficient because I'm drinking their food. I'm literally sucking the grease from the bottom of the pan that they – I'm probably sucking off the guy that made the food. Because I'm getting my money's worth, dude. What are you fucking kidding me, dude? I knew a dude, when we would go out to eat with this guy, he would literally have this ideology where he would go, listen, David, they got free refills and I'm paying eight, nine dollars for this cheeseburger and then another four dollars for the fries and I'm probably paying three dollars for this cup, right? And they got free refills. So look, a two liter of soda is how much? Five dollars? If we both drink, four two liters right now we can make up for the cost of what we're eating right now off the free refills and when i promise you this dude literally drank down two or three cups before the food even came they were sweating bro when he would be like yo refill and then you come back and get, give him the refill and they'd be like yo refill and then they refill him again they'd be like Ugh, another refill he'd be like yeah fill it back up Fill it back up. He was sucking that shit down like he was a camel in the desert, dude. And he was unstoppable. It was it was some crazy shit. The, the dedication this man put down. He did manage to drink, I would say, probably the two liters. He probably sucked down about two liters, maybe even more, to be honest. And he got his money's worth. I mean, if that's the way you want to look at it, that's the way you can look at it. But um, I didn't. I couldn't do it. I, I think I managed to drink two sodas. But he had, by the end of it, drank six cups. Not even joking with you. He was really throwing it back. Not like that, though. Not like throwing it back like with his butt cheeks. But throwing back the liquid. It's my second favorite, aside from Jimmy But Is that cake? Are you eating cake with noodles? Cake with noodles? Fat, R.I.P. <clears throat> Why so is it wet? Bro, it... If you're holding bread, do you guys like when the bread is wet? I don't like when bread is wet. That doesn't seem right to me. Why is it wet bread? So excited to try. French fries with macaroni and cheese, with potatoes, and a very skinny slice of pizza. Anorexic slice of pizza. Hi, my favorite version of American foods in the Chinese form. This is the worst bread that I've ever put in yeah, my well, mouth. Why the fuck would you eat that shit, dude? I mean, she, bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, dude. This may not be the bread you put in your mouth, but this may be the type of bread you put somewhere else, if you know what I'm talking about, dude. This might be a placeholder for a flashlight, if you know what I'm talking about, dude. There's a little something extra going on here. It's got gushiness to it. That's all I'm saying. Look at the way she's putting her finger in there. 
That's all I'm saying, dude. You might want to spend the $50 just to walk out with a few pieces of these breads. Nope, it was very Yo. moist, as you can see. Ouch, that hurt. The pizza, I don't know how to describe it, but we're having a great time. Mashed potatoes were absolutely exquisite. You can't really fuck up mashed potatoes. It's just literally potatoes that you put in a, a thing and just fucking smashed up. Put some butter in there, you're good. The french fries were pretty dank as well. Dank this french fries? This macaroni and cheese, however... Well, it can go to hell. Damn. I'm not so sure that I like the American versions of Chinese food, so I'm forced to try the Chinese food. And oh my lord, I loved it so much. The lo mein Yo, why, is so- bro, Why is she touching it like that? Why is she like- why, why did she caress it like she was Golem from Lord of the Rings? Did you see the way her fingers rolled across it? Chinese food. And oh my lord, I loved it so much. The lo mein- Look, why are you touching it? Why are you touching the food like this? Aren't you about to eat this shit? Didn't you just put your hand in some really some some wop ass fucking bread earlier, dude? And you about to place your fingers right back on top of this? Pain is so good. I got. I I even had to put it in my dessert. It was. That's insane, bro. Is this meat? Why is there meat inside of your cake? Do they make meat cake? So good. I did find a hair in my food that you're about to see in about three yeah, seconds. Yeah, now you're fucking with me, However, bro. I continued to eat because I think that it just made everything taste a little bit better. A little That's kind of crazy, bro. Listen, if you're going to a buffet, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm always going to keep it a buck with you. You know the way it is, okay? By the way, can we just take a moment to appreciate the SERP ladies? And by the way, we're spicing things up. Got a little bit of that Victoria's Secret back there. I just walked in to ask them for the bag so it looked cool. But anyway, when you go into a buffet, right, you're not expecting you're not expecting love, care, affection, time, effort into the food. These dudes are probably making 50 batches of the same shit. So don't expect them to not have a little bit of foreskin in there, a little bit of meat flakes. You know what I'm talking about? Meat dandruff. Um, dudes are probably getting meat massaged back there. Dudes is probably, listen, I'm not, look, just because they're Chinese doesn't mean they can't get down and dirty, right, dude? You get a little bit of that, the soy sauce on your meat, you maybe get a little bit of some extra flavoring on there, dude. You never know. That's all I'm saying, dude. That's all I'm saying. There could be some shit going down. I'm not surprised that she found a piece of hair in her Chinese buffet food. It is what it is. I mean, if, you, if you're eating at a Chinese buffet and you find a piece of hair, you might as well just go up to the front. Point it out. Bring up to the guy. Be like, listen, dude. I just found a piece of hair in my food. Thank you. This is one of the best experiences I've ever had in my entire life. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supplying me with this food. Yes. That's what you should say. Because, dude, what are you expecting? It's literally low-quality Chinese food. I mean, Chinese food in general is low-quality. Nobody ever... Nobody has ever wanted Chinese food because it's a delicacy. Like, it's like, a, you know what I'm like? It, it, it's American Chinese food is mainly just grease. So if you're going to a buffet, it's just it's just greasier, sloppier versions of... I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if the dude didn't whip out BBC and start slapping it across your meat. You know, across your whole plate. Why not, dude? That's the seasoning. That's probably where to get the soy sauce from. I don't know, dude. Whatever, man. No more humanized. Irregardless, I'm still slowly losing weight. And I mean, you know what, dude? If you... If... Did she say she still ate it? Like, after she found the hair, she still kept eating it? Is that what she said? Good. I did find a hair in my food that you're about to see in about three seconds. However, I continued to eat Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, dude. I mean, after you find a piece of hair, you already consumed, like, 10,000 calories, dude. And you just found the hair. It doesn't matter at that point. You know what I'm talking about? At that point, it's like the equivalent of if you were going... Like, it's really dark, right? And you were going down on your girlfriend and you were doing work, you know, like you were doing work. There's just juices all over the place. It's insane. And then you turn on the light and then you realize you've been sucking dick for 45 minutes. You might as well keep going because you've been doing it for 45 minutes. What's the problem at this point? You know what I'm talking about? You're gay at that point. It's too late. It's Pride Month anyway. Forget it. But the point I'm making is you, you might as well keep going. Why not? Fuck. You already been doing this shit for 45 minutes. You might as well keep going at that point. I think that it just made everything taste a little bit better. Yeah, the seasoning from the Asian man's hair really, really solidifies the flavor. A little more humanized. Irregardless, I'm still slowly losing weight in a calorie deficit. This is the only meal I ate today, and I definitely... Oh, just, yeah, you know, just fucking keep eating it. Like, pull, literally pulling hair out of the food, just... Oh, 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 damn, that's... Oh, that's gross, oh. Mmm. Made it count. 
Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today I didn't have anything for breakfast, but for lunch I ordered some Chinese food. I ordered the lemon chicken plate. Damn, she really one piece that. That's crazy. Fried rice and it came with a cream cheese ragoon. I am a saucy girl even when it comes to Chinese food, so I'm dipping everything in hot mustard, sweet and sour sauce, and some sriracha. What's it the point of like, what's the point of going to a food place? If you were just going to coat everything in sauces to begin with, like, do you even enjoy the food at that point? If everything is already pre-coated with whatever seasonings or whatever the fuck you're using, you don't care about the taste of the food, right? Like, you know, when you see, you go to somebody's house or whatever, and they get French fries and burgers and they just <laughs> catch up all over everything, dude. You don't give a fuck. Like, it's not about the flavor for you. It's it's about the flavor of the ketchup. It's about the flavor of the soy sauce. It's about the flavor of this. Like, you don't have taste buds. You're just eating to eat. If you're really listening to this video right now, do me a favor. Go to the comments and let me know what you like to order whenever you're having Chinese food. Pers I think I probably like to order... I like crab rangoos. I do. Crab rangoos are pretty good. Um, I don't be fucking with them too much because Chinese food is ridiculously expensive. And the last time I ordered Chinese food, there was a staple in it. So I'm not trying to really fuck with staples. And so that's like a main incentive for not doing it, but probably crab ragouts, um, chicken tenders or whatever the fuck you want to call them, chicken foods or whatever, uh, shrimp fried rice and uh, shrimp and lobster sauce. Yeah, yeah, probably that. That's what I would fuck with. I mean, by the way, all that probably like 5,000 calories if I ate that all. Personally, I a like plate. living chicken, orange chicken, general chicken, anything chicken really. Anyways, for a little after lunch before dinner snack, Man, I had an apple shit. in that apple. This is dry as fuck. Did I hope she has some fucking... I hope she has some wetness in this. I did not stand a chance. I literally ate okay. the fuck out of that apple. Tonight for dinner, I made myself a fat-ass salad with some romaine lettuce, okay. cilantro, celery, tomatoes, almonds, cucumbers, purple onions, hard-boiled oh, eggs, avocados, Dude, barbecue chicken thighs, and some... I gotta keep it a buck with you. Anybody that has hamsters as pets, I'm concerned. Because they don't do anything. And I get it. Like, you have a cool place for them to do stuff in. But are you really, like, watching them? Can't you just, like... Go on YouTube and type in hamsters doing stuff and then have that do 10 hours. Like, say, hamsters doing stuff 10 hours and just have that on your TV for the next four days, right? Just have autoplay on. Whatever comes up, comes up. That would be way more entertaining than having a hamster. And I get it. You're taking care of an animal, but they suck. They suck. I hate to say it. I know I'm going to get hate for this. I'm going to die in this hill. Hamsters are suck. They're just not good pets. I, 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 I refuse I refuse to acknowledge them as actual pets. They're just like, I don't know, really fuzzy socks with legs. They don't do anything. Homemade croutons. The other day when I told y'all that I now have a hamster, a lot of y'all were asking to see him. And this is him. His name is Van. He only has like half of a half of an ear, but that's totally fine. I love him so stinking much. But what? like I always tell y'all, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Let me know in the comments. Bye. You know it. You love it. Here's what I eat in a day as a fat person not trying to lose weight. Gotta start out the day with a couple. Egg McMuffin with two hash browns. How many calories are each hash brown? Does anybody know? Probably like what? 140, 240, something like that. I don't know. I used to buy the store-bought versions of those. You know those. it. You love it. Here's what I eat in a day as a fat person. Not These, uh, trying to lose weight. Hold on, Gotta hold on, start hold on. Out These store brand hash browns, dude, they're the way to go. Stop going to McDonald's. Stop getting the hash browns from fucking Mickey D's. They're killing your wallet. Don't do that shit. Listen, if you want to be unhealthy and you want a good deal, go down to your local supermarket and go into the frozen food section go to where they sell the french fries and then look at the very bottom or look at the very top of the shelves okay find a green box of these there's like 12 of them and it's like five dollars okay that will last you if you're having two each six days six days of hash browns in your mouth you feed in that shit in your mouth Stop going to McDonald's, dude. Their hash browns are already deteriorated. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Out the day with a cup of coffee. And they don't even have the all-day breakfast menu anymore. Which is, I don't know what they were thinking taking that away. But you have, now you have to go there before, what time, 11 or something like that, dude? Nobody's doing that. Nobody's going to Mickey D's in the morning time just to get their fucking dust butter ass hash browns, dude. Just go to the, just go to the thing. You got an air fryer, right? No? You got an oven? Yeah. There you go right there. Put that shit in there. I will literally not function otherwise. Then I had a turkey sausage, egg and cheese croissant and a hash brown with spicy ketchup. Not gonna damn. lie. Damn. Oh, damn. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. My morning meds was some cold brew. After getting some emails done, I had a snack. I had some mini peppers. How many snacks you need? When somebody says I'm getting a snack, usually it's like one, one thing or two things. How does woman pick up three things? Hummus. 
Then I had this Bobo's O bar. Four and, things, my B. And this random lollipop. Five things, For my lunch, B. I had some broccoli and cheddar rice. And then Damn. I had these like everything seed crackers. Damn. Later that evening, I was folding laundry and I had these mini rice cakes. My wife burnt the bun, but I had a cheeseburger for dinner and a couple of cookies for dessert. Damn. Oh, for oh my God, hi. I've been too burnt out to post, but if you like me here, you might like me there. I wonder what she means by too burnt out to post. You know what I really don't... Look, I'm not saying these people are not doing a lot, but sometimes I feel like people... I mean, maybe they're doing other stuff on the side, but sometimes I see people going like, I got burnt out. And I'm like, oh, really? And then I'll look at their content on TikTok. I'm like, oh, wow. Because you made like a couple videos a week of you dancing and poorly lip syncing to stuff and uploading once a week already. And each video is like a minute and a half every day or not even every day, like maybe once a week. Like, what do you mean? How the fuck did you get burned out by that? What the fuck are you talking about? You literally don't make videos every day. You only upload when you feel like it. And they're all like a minute long. Whatever, dude. Maybe she's got other stuff going on. I don't know. But I hear people say this a lot. And I look at their stuff they put out. And I'm like, dude, you're not. I mean, like, whatever. But, dude, it's like you are you can't even lip sync right. There or there. But back to business. Here's what I eat in a day. My partner was. Cat, best part of the video. Bar none. It's a way so everything's giving very much girl dinner. I over toasted my Hawaiian roll. I found out recently what girl dinner is. I guess it's just really like a terrible assortment of stuff. And it's not actually food or it's not like meals put together. But it's like, oh, I found a bagel. And then there was like some rice up the shelf that I can like literally throw in the microwave. Even though it says not to microwave it. So I'm going to throw that in the microwave. And I'm going to probably suck on a plate. And that's girl dinner. Like that's that's what it is, I guess. I don't know. What is boy dinner? What is that? Like a hungry man or something? I don't know. Well, and then I did the perfect avocado. Look at that influence her face. Ooh. I seasoned my tomatoes because I'm not stupid. And I made myself a little impossible burger. Still had some leftover mac. Why are we looking at your backs while you watch whatever this is? And cheese. Snack attack time. These were fucking incredible. I ate so many of them. They were so delicious. Hands down my favorite thing from Trader Joe's. I needed you to dance about it. That's how much I love it. This has quickly turned into just Trader Joe products because that's my girl dinner. Damn. I had this incredible TV dinner. Paneer. Full Coke, by the way. Full Coke, not even a half Coke. A full, full fat Coke. Masala frozen dinner. Some homemade. Shit. Oh, she's got one of these fucking trays, dude. I got a tray like this too, bro. I used to eat, like, I used to eat these trays uh, all the time when I was a kid. Damn. Damn, my bad, dude. I just saw something I probably shouldn't have seen. Damn, bro. It's kind of dark. I'm not going to say anything. Look, TV dinners are fine. If you're like in a rush to eat, I used to know teachers that could not make time in terms of eating. And by the way, a lot of teachers don't have time to eat. And when they do, it's like very few and far between, depending on the teacher, of course. But I know that TV dinners are okay. They're really high in sodium because they have to be. They're frozen food, right? But they're, if you have an alternative, then you should be doing that because the frozen foods only get you so far. And they're really like limited amounts of food. And they're actually going up in price. Like I remember when I was a kid. You can uh, buy Hungry Man's for like $3 or less. And yes, the price of the dollar has decreased in the last few years, right? So as we go along with time, the dollar now is not what the dollar is in 10 years. But still, the prices are different. And you're getting less food per dollar. It's just becoming more and more incentivized nowadays to actually make your own food. And then if you want to, I get it. It's a little bit, it's more work than to actually go to the grocery store go to the frozen food section pick out that hungry man or whatever the fuck this is the stofer and drop it in the freezer and cook it for three minutes when you're good but it's way healthier and it's way more filling to actually stay at home cook the meals yourself put it in a tupperware put it in the fridge and then a day or two later when you go into work or i guess here when she's watching like housewives i don't know what she's watching dude uh you're gonna sit there and you're gonna eat a quality meal that you made three days ago and it's gonna be way better for you than this frozen food shit that is probably not good because it's like super high in sodium and then also i don't recommend drinking coca-colas you can go ahead do whatever you want but if you're somebody already struggling but she doesn't care obviously she literally said she didn't care what am i even talking about none of this matters she doesn't care about anything yep. <laughs> she's a little rusty folks this peanut butter lava cake where are the calories on this? Oh, she's covering up the fucking calories. Preheat oven to 350. Bake thawed product from 11 to, 11 to 14 minutes. Let's stand for one minute before serving. Or microwave, which is damn, dude. This is why I think that microwaves are a sin. Because you can do this. Preheat the oven to 350 and then wait 11 to 14 minutes. And then let it stand. And then this is literally just... Yeah, just 
cook it for 45 seconds and then you're good. Lava cake was from my HelloFresh box and I wanted to see if and it- And by the way, anytime you microwave something, it kind of loses its soul. Like I'm not one of these people that thinks that you get cancer or like radiation sickness from, you know, fucking microwave and shit. But you know what I'm talking about, right? When you microwave something, I feel like it loses a part of itself. It feels as though the food just came back from Vietnam and some shit went down. It just doesn't seem like it's eligible anymore for love and affection. You're just eating it because it has it has nutrition. And that's it. And uh, maybe that's okay for you. If you're like, if you like eating depressing food, it's probably okay. But for me, I prefer my food to be a little bit more lively, a little bit more, you know, I enjoy eating this. Not so much like, I don't even know, like Lieutenant Dan right after he came out of fucking Vietnam. Actually worked and I was really surprised it did. It was delicious. Very peanut butter, very chocolate. I don't want TikTok to go away. Licking your fingers right. Okay, whatever. Bye-bye. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I am having two breakfast sandwiches. I'm not gonna hate on her for the breakfast sandwiches. The cheese does look undelightful. It doesn't look melted and it also looks like it's been in the fridge for a little bit too long. The hot sauce on your egg is aight. I mean, it's okay. I think it might be a little bit too much hot sauce. I don't know how many calories this probably is, but at least the buns are probably 200, maybe. No, mm, it might be like, mm, it might be like 160, 170. So like maybe 400 calories for both. This, inside of my untoasted hamburger bun, I have some crispy bacon, an over easy egg, and some Colby Jack cheese. Not bad. If you make any one of the breakfasts that I've Man, ever- I just can't believe that she's waited this long to not, like that piercing has been in her mouth for so long, man. And I'm just so sick of this woman having that piercing in her fucking mouth. Like, how has it not bothered you to take it out at this point? That shit just seems so incredibly unsustainable, but yet she's had the piercing now for over a year. I don't know how she's managed to maintain this shit. Never showed y'all, let this be the one. This breakfast burger is so stinking good. There's something about the soft, untoasted hamburger bun that goes so good with the salty and crispy bacon. And of course, a nice runny egg and some cheese. Also, thank you to everybody who told me- How do you guys like your eggs? I like mine like actually cooked through. Like, I don't really like the yolk to be runny that much. To try that Crystal's hot sauce. I have gone through two bottles now. I put that shit on everything. True. Anyways, so today for lunch, I had a cheese maruchan ramen with some cilantro. Cilan I never really- Bro, I- Cilantro. Cilantro. She always does this shit. She's so- It's- It's ambiguous, dude. I don't know, like, if she's a full Latina or whatever, dude, but I hear her oftentimes referring to foods in this like flavorful way but then other times she doesn't refer to those foods in the same way so i'm always like concerned about it because it just seems inauthentic right it's like people forcing accents for no reason when they don't need to do that like just be organic like i get it you want to be latina and i want to put spice on everything to make sure that you know that i am so spicy and i'm from this language and it's the love language so like you know you can appreciate it right i get it but it's just cringy. Also, drinking the juice from the bottom of the ramen. <sighs> really thought to put cilantro in my cheese. Cilantro. Chan ramens, but my boyfriend made me this one, and it was really freaking good. He told me that he sees. What do you mean he made you a ramen? So like he put water in the cup and then microwaved it. Put cilantro on everything, and he thought that this was something I already did, but it was really good. I would definitely do it again. Tonight for dinner, we are having some spinach and artichoke smothered chicken with some roasted broccoli. If you're really listening wow. to this video right now, do me a favor, go to the comments and let me know what your favorite thing to have as a late night snack is. Your mom. Personally, Sorry. for me, I have a sweet tooth at nighttime, so I like like a bowl of cereal or some ice cream or maybe like a fruit. An ice cream at the end of the day. I don't know why these people do they not get like bubble guts? Like if you eat ice, I know a lot of people that automatically get bubble gut from just eating ice cream and eating it at the end of the night. Oh, a fruit roll up. Oh, uh, well, I guess like a fruit roll up at the end of the night. I guess she's like naming out the things that she eats. But I know people that when they eat ice cream, they just blow up the toilets. I couldn't even imagine these people, cause like usually dairy is the thing that gets you that way. Eating this shit at the end of the night, dude, having your plumber on the retainer, that's, it's gotta be like synonymous. Roll up or something. But anyways, like I always tell y'all. 11, 15 at night, That's enough about Not me. Bad. What did you eat today? Let me know in the comments. Bye. Bye. She's one of my favorite people. She's one of my favorites, dude. I love her. Even though that her fucking terrible piercing has still been in her face for over a year at this point, I don't know how it hasn't done anything. Like, how does it not affect you doing everyday life? To me, it just doesn't make sense, dude. I feel like I would get hooked on something. And I've met people literally telling me that that, like, 
smiley piercing, it does get in the way when you eat. And maybe hers is like up too high. And by the way, you can't even really even see it when you smile, depending on like the person that you are. Like if you've got a big fat ass top lip and you smile and you can't see your gums already, you're not going to be able to see that. And by the way, if from a far distance, people just think you have braces. You know that? That's what people think. So if you have one of those smiley piercings, you're irrelevant. No, I'm playing. You're not irrelevant. But it's, I think it's dumb and I don't appreciate it. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously because they help me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. Um, I want to thank everybody that's a subscriber, a member, any of that stuff. You guys are all amazing. Thank you. I appreciate you tremendously. And I appreciate you for spending time with me today watching today's video. Thank you so much. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in necklaces or multiple beads and things such as so forth necklaces sorry not necklace yeah necklaces write down necklace down below because we're representing for the necklace gang so if you appreciate necklaces in the same way that i appreciate necklaces write that down below necklace but uh anyway guys you're a beautiful specimen i gotta let you know right now you smell so atrociously good i'm actually considering adopting your smell as my smell like i need to find a way to capture your pheromone in a very mm, safe way of course uh, for the environment to ensure that i can be your scent all the time because i smell you and i go oh it smells so good smells so awesome you have so many good pheromones all over your body the smell is big and i need it all over me all the time because the scent is it, it's just it's so desirable and I can't get enough of it. Oh, man. If your scent was the rain, I would never use an umbrella. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. <clears throat> if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. It'll all be linked in the description of this video. And it'll be linked in the description of the channel. All you have to do is click About, and you can find all those links. Make sure you follow me on all those platforms. I post really great stuff on all that stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.